If you haven't noticed, uh, Robot, my main goal in life is to wind the living crap out of everybody I meet. Uh, <laughs> we, we, if you hear us talking on the stream, right, about... Uh, actually, this is live now. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll message you afterwards because it'll give the game away. We've got, uh, we've got a cryptic, cryptic corner name in. Um, it'll be interesting to see if anyone uh, picks up on what it is. So, cool. Thanks, mate. Right, Good cheers, luck. man. Right, let's get. Um, <laughs> I nearly gave the game away to uh, the uh, to the viewing glit public. Glitterati of the in uh, the thingy. Let's have a quick look. The glitterati of the internet. Yeah. I'm glad I've never uh, googled that. Let me just. Uh, <laughs> well, invite Asher. Are we? Oh, you know, he finished that in style. <laughs> I did. Small, he'd have been proud, man. <laughs> So let's nice. sort of let's sort of work it. Uh, yeah, we've got. Um, we still. I might have to re um, uh, install everything on my PlayStation and just see what uh, comes up because it still won't do the replay thing. Uh, That's a shame. It is. It's a real shame. Um, I say I would try hosting the stream, but I really don't trust my internet. No, although I do like this, Jimmy, we can have a look at the at each driver's helmet. Um, You're streaming? I can't see what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've sent Captain Interest in an invite. Very well. Um, we'll see, we've got a viewer already. Um, it's going to be... I'm actually sweating after that last race. It was... Um, <laughs> it was a great race, a great race to be in. Right, I, I believe... I'm hoping this is the uh, the practice start. Uh, yeah, I do, believe, I do believe it might be the practice start. I'm just going to do one thing, just while we're on at... Um, broadcasting. I'm just going to alter the... Uh, um, Audio sharing settings. We were told that the no. Um, oh, we were just told that the last week that the um, microphone volume and car volume were um, car volume was a little bit loud. So hopefully, if this is the um, a practice start in between, it will swap that. We'll drop the car volume a little bit. Um, So let's just get the the Twitch stream up on the uh, again on the Apple Mac. That's a uh, Apple Mac in case um, Mr. Jobs uh, or his replacement wants to send me one. I have to also have the stream up on my custom built PC if anybody wants to send me some upgraded parts. <laughs> right, let's just have a quick um, let's just drop the car volume on here a little bit then. No, not an online manual. I don't want that. Attempt something different this week. I'm going to attempt also keep an eye on the comment section from the Robin Pollux officers. Fantastic. To my commentary booth. Race sound effects. Let's turn that one down a little bit, shall we? That hopefully that'll um, uh, give us uh, a little bit less car volume and a little bit more speakage. Although I'm not, everyone may not agree that speakage is uh, what Brilliant. they, yeah, or exactly what they want. So. I'm hoping I'm just going to try and turn my microphone volume up a little bit as well. Um, again, uh, anyone's watching, if you uh, do have any um, requests uh, or <laughs> it's the Sunday mm, afternoon all request lunch hour. Yeah, <laughs> uh, driving home for Christmas. Um, so I don't actually know how to adjust my mic volume on this one. If you do it on the share page thingy. Um, Uh, audio sharing settings. Let's have a look on that. No, that just says, do you want to include everything? Um, oh well. Oh we? Um, I think we've turned the car volume down. Let's uh, race sound effects. That'll be that one, won't it? I think. Um, Possibly. 
race sound, enhanced sound, balanced background music and sound. Uh, I don't know about that one. Um, there we go. We're, we're getting letting everyone have a look at. Um, we have uh, we have comments off. Bob Girungle, is this just a practice start? That was just a practice start. And a comment of Smalley, good luck, Dr. Co-op. And the other driver, as I like to call him, Ulthed River. Yeah, other driver. As, uh... <laughs> oh, that River. No, that's Old Man River, wasn't it? But there you go. There you go. Not many, not many of the other drivers get a song. They get their own song there. We'll, uh... The all requests a little lunch hour. Uh, oh, it's tea time. Uh, it is. Um, well, it depends. Tea, dinner. Um, which you get, where, we, where do we fall on that one, uh, Rod? Are we a? Is this approaching dinner time, or is it approaching tea time? Because well, I, because I am a northern monkey. This is tea time for me. Whereas I, think, I do believe the southern of the UK would have considered this dinner time. But dinner time something you have around about between 12 and 1. Yeah, we could we could maybe, this is maybe something we could start as well, we could maybe have um, discussion of the day uh, while we're waiting for <laughs> the pre... <laughs> um, it's uh, Copperberg time, apparently. It's um, Copperberg time, yeah, Smalley yeah. says it's drink o'clock. Smalley, it's always drink o'clock for you. Um, I actually partook in a little gin drinking last night with a um, uh, cactus and lime, uh, which was quite an interesting concoction. Strawberry and lime for the win. Um, okay. No, uh, no, I do agree there. Strawberry lime for the win, but it, it's like pop and it gets me very drunk because I can drink a lot of it very, very, very quickly. One day uh, you shall find out. So let's see, let's see who's going to jump in this and kind of uh, and see whether we are approaching dinner time or tea time. Um, I, it doesn't matter, it's, it's, it's food in my mouth, so... It's, it's, uh, uh, I don't have anything in my mouth. Let's have a quick look down, we, we seem to only have... Online Formula Racing says dinner and called us animals, but... Uh... Oh, tea time is technically time. Well, well, tea should have a little umbrella on it. Um, so, <laughs> see, I know what the, uh, AJ was on about now. When you dive on some of these cars, um, it the if you depend on what their car view is, if you go behind it, the view is really quite um, quite loud. Tea time is totally time. Well, then you get onto the tea debate. What's the better tea bag? I'm more of a PG am... tip, a triangle bag. I am um, a Tetley T or nothing else kind of guy. Mm. And then everybody that is in Yorkshire <laughs> believes that Yorkshire tea is the way forward just because it's got Yorkshire on the box. And we know that's wrong because they're all wrong. Well, they believe that in... Yorkshire uh, tea for the win on Lane Formula Racing. That makes you wrong. Very wrong. Um, oh, and let, let's, think... just, let's just hope during this race that online Formula Racing, who with their hidden profile is, actually manages to keep car on road. Garrett Road. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, apparently, apparently, like that. apparently, Fosters, Fosters make tea as well. Uh, as small yeah. as just inherited, because we cannot promote. Well, it's um, right, we're we're way on the start. Let's see, we've got Mark on pole, pitch, VR, Fifi, uh, Kyle or uh, Othered River, Othered as he's phone up. Yeah, Othered River, Havoc, Bill Barry, uh, and Doctor Co-op. Um, Doctor Co-op, sponsored by a British supermarket now. I've heard. Really, that's it's quite good. It's uh, interesting that they've uh, they branded him personally as well. Uh, oh, it's good to see looks that to be another double stint. Looks to be everyone through uh, turn one. Yeah. And Very heading exciting. now into turn two on the approach up to turn three, which is a tight right hander uh, uphill, a lot lot steeper. If you watch any of the MotoGP this morning, Ooh. all this contact there between Pitch and Marco, a little bit there of. Damage to oh, all this massive contact in the mid pack, huge. Everyone, oh, you've got nearly all corpus. This is carnage, absolute carnage. There's a car park at the back um, that everyone seems to have uh, seems to have dived into. Oh, I'm doing um, my my damage update. So, Doctor Co-op has front wheel damage and front aero damage. Has just managed to get back on the track there. VFR has engine damage and completely destroyed front end. 
Speedy uh, Rebel has a lot of front end damage. Havoc's got engine uh, and full left side, front aero. Both end river is flashing more than me in a park. Uh, oh, there's so much damage to it. It's just damage everywhere. Basically, you've got it's carnage. You've got everyone from about from eight down. There's severe engine damage. This is going to end up in a race of two halves. I tell um, you what. I'll tell you what, mind, um, I've just flicked through and more or less everyone from second downwards has got it's some sort of damage. That's true, Stato, that is very, very true. There's going to be lots of trips into the pitch. Welcome to the, welcome to the commentary booth, Stato. Hello. I wonder, um, uh, yep, we'll no doubt get some uh, so. Red Bull Ring stats and facts. And let's put um. this way, AJ is just clearing off. I, I think he's got... As much as I respect AJ and love how good of a driver he is, he got lucky to avoid that melee and it's purple, given such purple, a gap. Purple first sector. Purple first um, sector. Yeah, so we've actually got there. quite a nice little battle for second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, with Marco, Fifi, Tom and La Lavsesh, who is a new driver. Um, I'm not sure <laughs> who's place he looked. Quite possibly. I'm not quite sure who's... Uh, place he's taken this week actually. Let's have a look. I'm just just watching them now come down into the Horden Bends. And all looks neat and tidy through there. Yeah, through the first through Hoden one and they're now approaching Hoden two. And nobody's made the balls up, which is quite impressive. It is it is a it is a good start. It is a good start. It's just gonna get the league table up on um, the other device and just see who we've got again this is AJ uh, wasn't quite sure now AJ's taken a seat in D1 uh, whether this was going to whether he's going to dual stint every round but he appears to be um, which and he's got a well massive 41 point lead over BJ Robbo in second already with Tom in third uh, and then Doc Coop so it's going to be interesting to see how that battle pans out BJ Robbo is currently sitting in sixth now. A uh, little bit of front end damage, not too bad. AJ's away Ooh. already. We're now he's now just shy of eight seconds clear already of Marco. In three uh, laps as well. Oh, there's a little bit of tapping here between Marco. Apparently, and apparently there's there's something going on in the chat at the minute. Kimmy's saying that they're asking for a restart, um, which I can I can't see happening. To be quite honest. No, I mean, Fifi's down the, the inside of Marco. Yeah, they're, I'm looking at the comment section. Kimmy is saying they're asking for a restart. Yeah, I I'm just diving in the commentator feed at the moment. Um, me that's me maybe it's been called on straight away, but I don't think they'll restart this. It's I think too it's too off. far into the race now. And, yeah. and, and right now it's a it's a spinorama AM one two three. A, pack of, a three pack of BMWs at the front. The German mark will be delighted. Was well, that the Deutsch mark? Or the German mark. And I know exactly what he means. Anyways, moving on. Uh, AJ's picked up a, a half second penny, which won't matter. Snap, look at this gap, guys. Nearly just shy of 11 seconds now. In You've got the days. two Spinorama, Spinorama BMWs in second and third. Um, this lab session looks like he um, could be quite a handy driver as well. It's, it's Tom, a debut race for them. Robo and Le Lab. You know, Marco, Tom and BJ Robo all very, very, very close together. BJ Robo's just Not gone up the inside of him into turn two, actually. Now into turn three, they all get through relatively clean and unscathed. Love. And BJ Robbo's got the drag down on BJ Robbo into turn four. This is going to be quite an issue. It's going to be a hard move that makes it pass. But he's still got front and rear damage and all right, all left side. On the he's the taken him. By, oh, he's got it. Great move. And allows Tom to follow through as well. Maneuver. The how way did he manage that? Now, the how way did I get through there, man? Lovely into the Horden Benz again. Yeah, great. Through Houghton, one clean. The, the, the gap now, second, third, fourth downwards, he's actually starting to close up a bit now. Uh, there's half a second between Live Session Fifi. 
um, and then fourth, fifth, and sixth are not a million miles off, um, yeah, which is so. not something you can say about AJ at the moment, who is a million miles off the front. Live, live from the social media desk over here, we have Smalley saying grow a set and drive like a big boy. Um, Jan saying that was some stupid, I can't use that word, driving. And Smalley repeating again with, I lift heavy things. That is all from the social media desk so far. Mike, Michael Small there, who likes to lift heavy things instead of driving cars. <clears throat> right, well, we'll get back to... There's going to be an interesting clash up here into turn three. What was a little bit of a nudge there between Fifi and Robbo? I think Fifi just come across on him a little bit there, but he's taken him on the inside into turn three. Um, interesting to see that little battle come up because the two combative uh, drivers, I think, is the is the way to put it. They're not afraid to dig their elbows out and uh, and get stuck in. Let's just jump back down the field a little bit further and just see where we're at with um, pitches out there in seventh. Uh, in, a, in a very lonely seventh. He's got about five seconds front and back. Um, Havoc now must have pitted to clear his damage as well. Um, Ooh, he's just going to squirrely out the hold and one there. We VR's ninth uh, dot co-op. Uh, it just looks just I've had a little bit of a spin. I keep trying this replay thing, it's just not working, it's doing my head in. Um, and other driver, I don't know how you pronounce. Um, it's Od it Oda driver. Oda driver, Oda driver. Yes. Oda river. And that's what he's <laughs> driving on. Um, and then Phil Babbage in 12th. Wow. Well, I think all you're probably 8th, 7th or 8th down was all caught up in that first lap carnage. Right. Um, Tom, Tom is in the pits, which is early, seconds. I believe. But he must be repairing that damage. Yeah, I think the the strategies are all over the place at the moment with the damage that's causing that um, oh, lap one a melee. La Vesh's bar, OBJ Rubble. Oh, and he tries the undercut. This is good. this is going to be quite good actually. Um, well, Darwin here, BJ Rubble has just dived on back in behind him. I thought he was going to take him on the undercut then. La Vesh has shown him the outside, and but he switched. Battle of Breakers. Is, that is my textbook overtake on that turn. Uh, He's taken him. On that turn. Works a treat Ooh, everything. Lava's got a little bit of a squeal on the power there. Didn't didn't defend hard enough for me there. It's when you make that sort of move, it's very hard to defend. If you go into that corner, show them that you're going to look on the up, on the inside, then switch to the outside quick. It makes it, the other car won't know where to be. If you get what I mean. It's very easy to just switch where you're going, all the way down into there. You should know that Ash, I've done it on you so many times. <laughs> You've done it on me twice, Michael. If you, I'm just you looking at this, this gap at the top of the, um, top of the lead now. We're on lap six, and AJ's now a 19 and a half second lead. That's quite scary, he's running about two to three seconds a lap quicker as well. If you have a look at the fastest lap so far, 29.8. Saying that, VR's got the fastest lap of the race so far with, with a 29 flat. But he is, he's, he's, he's about, he's fat, one lap pace, he is uh, about 1.6, 1.7 faster than BJ Robbo now. Who's Ooh. gapped, who's Fifi's, gapped Lavesh. He's making a move on Lavesh. And there's a battle going on between Pitch Black and Marble. Oh, Marco's up the inside of him. In the different team there, though, but... It's a, is it? It is. Completely different car, Fifi. but... Um, well, they were both... Like no, the sorry. We're, we're, on, we're, we're further down. We're fifth and sixth, aren't we, man? He's, no, the battle between fifth and sixth uh, pitch has taken Marco. And he's just starting to put a bit of a gap on him now. He's pulled a second between uh, turn three and turn four. Um, VR and VR. Marco's going to have VR and Havoc. So you've got all three in the same team there. Um, let's just dive back onto Discord and just make sure we get team names uh, correct. AJ is now 21 seconds ahead. Oh, Thed River there, he, he got quite screwily out of turn four, I believe that is. And now he's. 
Uh, he's doing all right for Paige. He's just he's just struggling a little bit at the minute. I think it's the uh, damage from the. Uh, it's the Gwen's boys. There we go. We're getting um, Gwen's Gwen's boys is apparently what we've been told. To em there's an emphasis on the Z. Um, all three of the the Gwen's boys. Um, I'm not sure which. Sound very good if I try and say them. My accent, the Gwen's boys. Nah. It just doesn't work. It doesn't. Um, all three of them together. It's good to see. They're all they're all quite close together. I would imagine they'll be. There'll be a team chat going on and a, and a little bit of team orderage going on with uh, with where they're going to finish. And now you've got Tom coming back in ninth, um, who's got a he's, he's really gaining on these now. There's only 0.6 is gapping him. Um, he's got a small penalty, but he'll, he'll let that go. He's taken most of that in that one corner. Just take a Marco beautiful move on the inside there into turn four. Uh, be interesting to see. He's probably got a free pit stop. I would imagine he'll come out still relatively. Uh, very clean. Yeah. Uh, Tom's into Houghton one, um, and just about to uh, just come through Houghton two and head towards Havoc. He's put one and a half seconds into Marco on this lap alone, and then he's still got also in. So I'm River. very surprised that we haven't seen any like sort of hairy moments around the Houghton turns. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, it is a. Um, it is that sort of corner. It's, it, it's tricky little complex. I mean, one little slip and you're you're in a whole different place. You've got to be careful trimming the uh, trimming the inside too much as well. Yeah, you uh, can't take too much off the curb on the Hordens. You can't. Uh, so AJ's come out after his pit stop uh, with Lavesh or Lavesesh in second, who's still yet to pit. He's done well to carry this damage um, to this point in the race. Uh, but AJ's come out with a 21 second lead which is I know there's comments in the stream that his pace is um, is, is too high for D2 but this is his this is his debut um, season with uh, OFR in GTS so the right move to make at the start but it just shows the pace he's got that he's uh, already been out on podium in in D1 as well a good battle second, third and fourth um, could be we can't have six cars in here within a couple of laps, depending on pit stops. If Fifi's going to have to pit, um, Lab says she's going to have to pit the same as Pitch, uh, VR, and Havoc. There's still quite a few cars on there running a bit of damage. I don't know if that's still from the well, from the first lap incident. Good to see. So Fifi's carried on. I think they're all going for two here. Yeah, I think they're going to go maybe 10, 20. Whoa, Fifi's off. Ooh, and pitch oh, and black. Oh, more on the straight. Oh, another melee again. This is going to, there's like, there's now six cars all going to be going into turn one together. So we'll watch this because there could be a little bit of paint swapping. Um, no, the ball just, the it looks like all just fell in nicely. Oh, a little bit of switch like from. Massive wobble. But there must be contact because Fifi's now got front and rear damage. Gonna, he's going to have to pit. They are going to go two stop on this if they're, if they're waiting until lap 10. Um, they are going to have to two stop this now. Fifi's got front and rear that damage. Close, that, that's like lap one, that isn't it? Like that close. Yeah. Which is great to see. It shows that the, 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 the pace of D2, if you take AJ out of the equation at the minute, with his 26 second, which don't look up there, uh, the pace between, if you have a look at this, you've got second down to about eighth, that probably only really covered by. Four Ooh, or five seconds. Between Pitch Black and Fifi. Fifi went right. Good recovery. Very good recovery. Tom's having a good drive back to back come up to places. come back up now to fifth. Tom's on fresher tyres, so he's on. Tom, I would imagine, will be on a three stop. Um, and the drivers around him look to all be on a two. So it means, oh, Tom's going to. Tom just coming out of Hoden's then. Just coming out of Hoden Benz. Uh, great move. Uh, Iceman Kimmy saying replay of what happened there. We have um, a we PlayStation have issue option, that won't that won't uh, allow replays. We spent Four, time over five, the last six, week. Seventh and eighth all came in at the same time. There uh, must be for. Oh, it looks like they're going for the two stop. They, they must be on lap on lap ten. They'll be two stopping. 
which I think if you're going for the two stop lap 11 is more there's the better choice to do it on because you need to go 11 22 and it gives you a shorter stint at the end but there is possibly you could mix and match it but I, th I think they'll be on a I mean if you look at this this is ridiculous ages now 32 seconds in front of Tom Tom's having a good run uh, he's now in front of Robbo uh, he was carrying a little bit, a little bit of front aero damage, but it won't cost him that much time. Uh, Tom's carried a bit of rear damage. Uh, well. yeah, basically, between, where the main, there's been a little cuddle there. There's a battle between Pitch Black, Fifi, and Othed River. And Othed River has been oh, oh it's turned a big round. Them all of them. And there's two of them off there. Yeah, it's Othed oh, River Fifi and came, Pitch. Fifi Is it Pitch came on the inside of Othed River and. Pitch was on the outside, and there just wasn't enough space for all three cars. Was, yeah, I couldn't really say who was to blame there in that incident, but unfortunate for all of them. Going back down the grid to see if I can spot more battles. AJ is still two seconds, more or less two seconds a lap quicker than second or third. 29, 29 one now, he's still, VR's still got the fastest lap, but you may be taking into account a little bit of, uh, of drafting there. Um, all all AJ's laps have been set clean and not and on his own. No, um, all, all, all AJ needs to do now is just set, him, set his own pace to second or third, really, and just manage a gap. And just not make any silly mistakes. In fact, as I say, that yeah. is three Phil, purple. Phil Babbage just closing up on Oathhead River in 10th. Yeah, the battle for 9th here. Got a good battle Are you try between. And make a move? The battle for the second two place on the podium between Tom and BJ Robbo is shaping up. There's less than a second between them. Going down into turn 4, I believe. Just coming um, on the big right hand down towards uh, Hoden 1. And there's a new fastest lap for AJ, 28.7. Which would have been and a fast lap, a fast lap even in, um, in D1, that. Um, VR's got a very lonely place in fourth. He's got uh, about six seconds front and back. If, um, Havoc's in a very similar position. Um, and Marco again. So the, uh, the Gwen's boys... Uh, guys are all 5th, 6th and 7th they're all in very very safe uh, positions Lavish has had a little bit of contact by the uh, by the look of it on his front uh, front near side um, Fifi's carrying that front and rear damage now after that that coming together with with uh, Pitch Phil Babbage has got to be in this lap he must have unless Phil took an early pit stop earlier on due oh, to um, the damage. Um, oh, it looks like he's just dove into the pits there. Yeah, both, just in front of Dot, uh, dot Co-op. Um, who's, who's going there? He must have pitted. He must have pitted first time. You can't, 12 laps on a set of tyres is, is, is good going. Uh, it, it's, I mean, there are... Back. Tom and BJ Robbo are still fighting, and especially the nail. Turn, in turn four, yeah, you don't want to go off in turn four in case you lose a podium. I don't know anyone who's done that before. Nope. I, I wouldn't know anybody that's done that before either. Um, into Houghton one. Um, Tom just starts to, to gap a little bit. This is, this is the battle of the race so far. It's the second podium position, and I know the Tag Her guys uh, of the last couple of weeks have all been in the podium fight week in, week out. But this, this week we've got three different cars, three different drivers. It's proof that the regs in the in the championship this year are, are working. Oh, PJ, oh, Tom's in. Tom's in. <coughs> Tom's in. I think this will be Tom's second stop. I think he probably pitted earlier for um, for damage. tires after the after the, yeah damage after the first lap melee. Um, so we'll dab it down now. So that puts Havoc up into fourth. Um, which is where the Marco can get through before before Tom comes out of the pits. Um, let's drive back down to the bottom and see where we're. So Phil Babbage is out of the pits now in in twelfth, um, and he's pulling time back on on Dot Co-op, um, who's got uh, Othered River is is in the pits now in tenth. 
so don't co up he's going to be just watch him cross the line and see if out he's got to make up to pitch um, 12 seconds There's a bit of a battle going on between Tom and Marco in fifth and sixth. Well, caught it's just the right time down into turn four. Tom's on the inside. Neither of these guys will want to give. Is Tom going to overshoot? No, oh, well held. Nice. Well, well held. held. Marco was very, very yeah. nearly in the back of him then. Good driving there from Marco as well. Um, not it's to, so easy not just to collect the back of Tom. Yeah, diving out of the slipstream, yeah, just run on a little bit. One. Tom's there's, starting to Tom's starting to gap already. Um, there's there's possibly a battle brewing between BJ Robbo and VR. VR's about a second and a half back, but I think that gap has been steadily closing. Let's go to the top. Keep an eye on that B, one. BJ Robbo's running a little bit of front damage, and his tyres are looking a bit more worn than VJ. Who's got no damage oh, either? So VR is going to uh, is going to take this this place. Maybe not this lap. What's that? It's uh, well, it'd be an interesting battle as you're watching this. We'll stick with it for a little minute. This could get quite tasty down into turn I mean, four. If you can get close, if you can get close enough to BJ and the Hordens, he might be able to get him on the last two turns. Maybe, or the the fast left right flick on the way out. There's interesting chat going on with uh, Smalley. The official OFR stream and uh, Kimmy uh, as well. Uh, nice to see that the, the, the online chat in the stream is starting to take the same context as the uh, the live stream, um, and it's just getting back up. So he didn't. I thought we thought we'd gap him there into into Hoden one and Hoden two, but he's not. He's actually he's actually holding the gap still fairly constant at about half a second. So your next opportunity here, and here is going to be the the. Uh, the breaking down into turn nine, which is just coming through now. Oh, very, very close. Right very right close. Well, that's not really moving to turn. I think he's going to try and take him <laughs> turn one or on the drag up from turn one up to turn three. Um, half a second's not a great deal. He's going to be in that slipstream area as well. And that Merc has got some serious pace to it. I've been driving it a lot this weekend. It's quick. Watch to see if he's got this this move up here. Sponsored by, by Victoria's oh. Secrets as well. He's going to make. He's going to try oh. and make the move with me to turn three. Oh, he lifted. Oh, he had a look. He had a look. He's what a piece. You either make that move stick or you don't. You can't. It's not a half-hearted half place to pass. Um, and I think he might be a little bit too far back for the move down into turn four as well. Just stick with this one for another back end of the lap. AJ's back in the pits, so he is on a perfect three-stop strategy, and it's it's the safest strategy of the lot. And with it, with the gap that he's got at the front, there's no point in taking any risks. Um, it's now down to two tenths of a second going into. Oh, and he's oh. looking on the inside of Holden two. Oh, he's he did. backed out again. He he's just showing a wheel to show he's there. This is quite a good battle. It's impressive that they're driving as close as they are. Robbo's shown him the outside here. Um, I like that. Has, oh, uh, Robbo's in the pits. Robbo's in, Robbo's in. Robbo's in the pits. Nice move there by Robbo. I think he sent him to the outside knowing that he was going to come in and didn't want to hold him up. So now Villar's in, the, in second on the road. AJ's now out of the pits. He's on the uh, drag down to turn four with a 28 second lead. Uh, after his second scheduled pit stop. Uh, BJ Robbo's in the pits. Tom is now second and fourth uh, over the line. So it's interesting to see where Robbo comes out. We'll just hold this with Tom because if Robbo comes out of the pits, this fourth, fifth, sixth battle could be... He's clear from on the pit stop, so... Yeah, he's, he's well gone. Robbo seems to have been in the pits for, for the quite, pit a, quite a while. Is he taking on? Is Robbo taking on? He's taken on enough fuel. He could. He could fuel till the end of the race. It's also whether his tyres are going to last that. Well, I, I know a driver in the first race that attempted that strategy of taking on his second stop, taking on more fuel, and just going for a tyre change on the last stint. And how did that end out, Ash? 
Well, I managed to gain a position uh, over Jan, so it actually worked. It actually did work. We've got a but, tasty little battle here for 8th and 9th between Marco Dot Co-op. Uh, not that we're endorsing the choice of any particular supermarket, but he seems to be uh, he seems to have his clear favourite. He's trying round the oh, round the outside. Wow. Wow, and he held it. This goes back to what Stato was saying earlier about if you if you take that outside line into there, you can quite easily just, just clip one wheel on the gravel and then that's it, that's race over. But that was a don't move, go off. move of the race. I don't to you, young sir. That was the move of a, uh, of not of a, uh, uh, a premium. Looking... I feel Come sorry the... for Marco right now. He is the, he is the meat in a tag here sandwich. How long is he going to stay that way though? He's gone a little bit wide. They've both gone a little right. bit wide. So she's pushing on to try and keep him behind him. Feels... But he's... Phil's drafting him. There's going to be a move down here into turn one. It's going, going to be in the turn one, it's going to be turn three. Oh, and there he has. It's good looking down the inside, breaking. Ah. Oh, he lifted and he sent Marco. It's called Marco to run a bit deep. And now Phil Babbage is just about join the party as well. And it's just starting to stretch between them now. Phil would have him into turn one there, but he just managed to lift to not take. Uh, not take him out Ooh. into that corner. Just start back up. Um, well, third river is about a nine seconds behind that battle for tenth. But starting to pull, starting to pull back slightly though. Yeah. Let's have another look around the outside of turn four. four. He's switched oh. on the inside. Oh, was a little bit of no. I don't know if that was contact there. If it was just, it was very minor contact at most. But that's he's, he's dispatched him and on his way into the Hordens. We may have a reboot of the uh, live stream PlayStation this week and see if we can get the replay thing working. We've tried everything, we've tried multiple keyboards, multiple options. Um, AJ's now into, into lap traffic. Um, he's coming up behind through Hoden 2, in, up behind Othered River. Uh, with a 30 second lead uh, with 11 laps left is is undoable. Um, so Kyle will be getting uh, blue flags and the blue lights there from um, from the marshals. Then for the BMW drivers, that means they have to pull over and speak to them. Yep. While BMW. while indicating. No, BMW don't have indicators. This BMW doesn't need an indicator being so far out in front. He, he could have saved on that optional extra quite easily. Just try and have a look through the field to see if it's, it's all that's so spaced out at the moment. Unless there's another round of pit stops, which there will be soon, I don't think they're going to close there up will that be, much. You've got some, We've got some drivers like Lav Sessions in sixth. Um, he's got a little bit of front damage and his tyres are 25% worn now. Um, and he's got definitely got another stop in him. I would think he'll probably try and go to maybe lap 20 through 22 uh, and make the last lap uh, an eight-lap stint. Uh, Fifi, Fifi's got front and rear aero damage. Which I don't think he's making a great deal of difference to his his lap times. He's still 32s, 33s. Um, dot co-op. This is the only real battle we've got in the race at the moment. Well, look at eighth, ninth, and tenth uh, with dot co-op. Phil Babbage Phil and Babbage Marco. And Marco again. These three get uh, together quite a lot. Um, very similar sort of pace. I know oh. they had. Um, they were close. Marco's looking for a move down the inside of Phil Babbage at the turn one. He's got past them before the turn's done. And he, he's round. Phil Babbage's got a, two, uh, a point two second left of a penalty. Maybe I would imagine clipping turn ten onto the straight. Um, so he's going to be. He'd do wise to get rid of that uh, that penalty into this corner, which he has. He's lost it all now, which should give him. Oh, and he's gone from down. the inside. Oh, what a move! Down the inside, he's got him again. <laughs> Phil's quite heavy on his tyres. If you have a look, 
Same with last week. His front tyres are really, really worn. So he's going to be losing time again into most of these corners. His rear tyres where his traction is going to come from aren't as bad, aren't as bad as his front. So maybe it's out of balance. But Marco's definitely got better tyres. And again, probably got another another stop in him for for the end yeah, of the race. Or the driver is uh, still nine and a half seconds behind this battle now. Although he's taking, uh, he's, he's fluctuating a couple of tenths out of him on, uh, on each lap. I'm assuming Phil Babich is going to be coming in this lap. Let's just jump back up oh, and watch him. Which is going to be, stayed no, he stayed out. Which is a, a very big surprise. Yes, that's put him into six on the road because uh, Doc Co ops in. Um, we'll just dive on and have a look at where Dot Co-op is. I would imagine he's going to, uh, if he's stopping on lap 20, possibly going to try and run to the end now. Which I is do, doable. I do think these have gone for the two-stop for the, the two -stop approach. Yeah, it looks like he's due to the end. Yeah, he's definitely second enough fuel to last him through now. Um, AJ's lead now, guys. He's now up to 49 seconds. <laughs> I was just about to say I was going to check AJ's dominance. Uh, 43 seconds. He's actually started next week's race already. <laughs> he's taken he's the lead of the F1 guys and the MotoGP guys. Um, they're now running two races at the same venue uh, uh, weeks a week apart. <laughs> so he's... Uh, you've got Tom now is... So you've got kind of a nice little battle there between Tom and VR. We'll just check on the tyre. Villar's got fresher tyres, possibly fuel to the end now, he's got just over half a tank. And Tom's just got the blinking Tom's, red light of doom. Tom is going to be in this next lap. So you're going to, you could possibly have AJ from VR, from BJ Robbo again. His tyres quite worn, he's definitely got enough fuel till the end of, till the, end of the race. Do you whether he chooses like to the doom, is he going to play a petrol station roulette like I used to when I was younger and try and run it as long as possible and get somebody else to fill up for you? I think a couple of drivers tried that in the first race as well, um, the, where maybe to come over the line with just over a lap worth of fuel. Um, it's a gamble, especially on worn tyres, because uh, if you had better better tyres, you would have to, you, you could probably take more advantage of it running low weight on high grip. Um, but Marco like he had now plenty of grip through there, Hooden one there. And he's definitely not short of grip on Hooden two. But now AJ is now coming up to lap Marco in sixth place. But he has got to he's gonna have to be in this lap. And I'm not sure, looking at his tires, whether he's gonna take on another set of tires or not. With a fifty one second lead, you would. Um but again, his tyres aren't that bad. He could, if he could have wanted to be dramatic, take this to the end of the race and these tyres and just refuel. But his lap times, he's low 29s this far into the race. It's, just, it's a phenomenal drive from him. Keeping an eye on Marco and AJ is lapping Marco. Is AJ going to lap every car on the grid yet? Uh, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rule well, it out. AJ's coming in, AJ's coming AJ's in, in, coming in with a 53 second lead uh, and a lap time of he's only he's only going to be 30 seconds behind. So it's still a quick calculation. He's he's got uh, 16. Third. There's a possibility. I think if if he gets a good run back out, he could lap up to fifth place. Looks like there's a brilliant battle about to kick off between Doc Cooper and Pitch Black. Down is 7th and 8th. Pitch has got a half second penalty. Um, uh, looks which like he'll... might just be slightly pulling away, but Pitch is hanging with him. Is he going to show him a wheel here just to let him know he's there? No, he's, no, he's, he's taking he's the opportunity gonna... to scrub. It's got a penalty, but oh, he's sending oh, wide. He ran deep, ran deep. That's not a play. There's very little grip on that darker grey tarmac. And he's lost. Very easy um, to spin on there. He's lost 1.2 seconds there, which is um, just checking the the live stream. We've got 20 20 viewers. Um, it's great to 20 see. Hello, people. Um, 
I just said friends. I think 20 would be an optimistic number. I don't think I've had 20 friends in my life if you add them all together. But now you've got AJ's uh, now coming up behind behind Pitch. Pitch has got a pit. Um, maybe not another another lap. I think maybe he, might, he would. I think he'd probably come in at the end of this lap as he come out of the hose and down towards turn nine. We'll just stick with him and see if he pits in here. He is. He's in. So that leaves AJ now. Uh, coming up behind, let's see who's next. Uh, I would say victim then. Let's see, it's uh, gonna be a Haas. We've got seventh. My right, Doc, Doc Co op is gonna be the next person AJ is gonna come up behind, I believe. Who's in seventh? Who's fueled and tired to the end? Um, Phil Babbage is again fueled and tired to the end. Fifth, the thing is, I'm, looking, I'm looking at Marco here. His tyres are looking good, but he's running out of fuel, so I think he's going to have to come in this lap as well. Havoc and Tom are battling here as well for third. Oh, Again, yes, these, these two have come. Havoc's a great driver, though, a very, very quick uh, F1 driver. Um, he was racing uh, D2 for Team Vilsack last night. Um, it'd be great to see him get a podium here for Gwen's boys. Point three of a second, and Tom's pulling on me. Ooh, Alex taking a defensive move. Door. And he's showing him the outside. Is, is he going to go for it? No. No, but the drag up here through close. turn two, up into turn three. Hopefully, we won't see uh, any big smash like we saw in MotoGP last week. Uh, hello, Grim. With. Uh, from uh, D1, hello, the Rod and Pollock's team. Um, he said a specific hello to Rod and Jeff. Obviously forgetting that, that Stato is with us today as well. We've not actually had any Tom's, Red Bull Ring stats, which we could possibly Tom's do with the today. Ins Tom's down the inside of Havoc. That's a good move. Clean move. It's good and hard clean. move. It's going to allow Havoc to get the drive back on him as well. Are we going to have a Red Bull Ring stat of the day then, start over this week? We're going to... Well, I can't really think of one of the... the obviously, they've had different guys as the Red Bull Ring. You had the old Asterite Ring, which was in used to about 1987 or so, Formula One. <laughs> and and then, it, then it became the A1 Ring in 1997, and then it was disused from about 2004 or... Well, or something like that until 2011 when Red Bull bought it and Red Bull brought F1 back to the Red Bull ring so it's been through different iterations down the years and there you go that'll do us the okay. start of the day <laughs> that, that um, start of the week from Stato there yeah um, Castle saying the race should have been restarted um, I'll be a, a subjective uh, conversation after the race amongst the the stewards I'm sure but it was it was first lap um, first lap uh, accidents this yeah. could be moved down here we've got AJ's just about to take uh, Doc Co-op for sixth place he's going well, to have Harley lapped the up to absolutely brilliant race today Harley that last lap battle you had truly fantastic and brilliant to watch and uh, yeah team Ron Pollock's racing not that I'm biased or anything because I have a vested interest in that team Oh, BJ Robbo had a bit of a snake out of turn four. Um, we're just watching. I think it's going to be a big ask now for um, AJ to lap any higher up than six because he's got 26 seconds uh, to make up on Robbo if he wanted to lap there. But still lapping the field to sixth place is, is it was a ridiculous drive. Um, and now his fastest lap, guys, if you don't even know, is now a 28.4, which is, I think, only 0.4 of a second off. Uh, the fastest lap we had in D1, which was a 28 flat. Check out Fifi, we're being told, so I'm, I'm, I'm having a look to see where Fifi's in, at right now. In 8th. He's in 8th, and uh, yeah, he's there. One second, a second behind Marvel, three seconds away from Lab Sesh. And nicely through the Horton, Horton 2. Oh, oh, the 
Old Head River is four seconds as well behind Phil Babbage. He's closed that gap up nicely. He's fueled entirely the energy. Might have a run on him here for 10th. The and final he point has, place. And he has better tyres than Phil Babbage as well, more importantly. That might give him a bit of a shot. Be great to see him get a point today. Um, it's been a bit of an unsettled start to his OFR career. He's, he's moved between D1 and D2 as a reserve driver. Um, he's now got a cemented place in D2, so he can get used to the car Good and the guys around him. Um, good driver We spent well. a lot of time racing with Kyle or Wolf End River. He, he's a very good driver on his day. So we'll dive up, let's just try and flick back down through the field and... Um, oh, oh, Phil, Phil Babbage in a lot of sesh. No, 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 oh, oh, no. Contact. There's a bit of a wibble coming out of there, followed by a wobble after he was hit. Lav Sesh has got rear damage and somehow uh, Phil Barber hasn't got any. Well, it is actually known that the front end of them Porsches are made out of adamantium. This is actually going to shape us for quite a nice little battle here. It's for the final, the final points on the uh, today in 9th and 10th. We've now got, if you look in the background, you've got Phil Babbage um, and Othered River. Um, in, and they're now with that and pitch. Kyle and Pitch, although uh, Pitch has gone slightly wide, we jump back up to the ninth and tenth battle. Um, uh, oh, Lav says tried to squeeze him a little bit there, but he's taking him on the inside into turn nine. Boy, oh, Lav says has gone quite wide. wide. Clean, clean move. It's a, uh, well, I think there was a move also there gone wide. between uh, Hamilton and Starter Water. Was the name of the other driver at the first. Uh, Red Bull Ring race uh, earlier on this season. Uh, Hamilton went up the inside uh, at a very, very simple move. Oh, Hamilton and uh, Hamilton remember. and Lewis. That's it. Uh, Hamilton and Lewis. River. Hamilton yep. and Lewis. Yes, yeah, same driver. <laughs> yep. Albon. Same driver. Have a different haircut. And, and, and there's a battle between Albon. both Ed yep. River and Pitch. Teammates here. So we're interested to see how this one pans out. Uh, Pitch has gone. He's gone off. I don't know whether he went deep, trying to make went, that, uh, went, trying to make that move. It looks like he went a little bit deep, but he's recovered it and he's hot on the heels again. So we're looking like now. I said, the last time Ash was in the commentary booth, he's on him like Ash on a buffet. Now we've got uh, AJ. I think he's just lifting slightly now. He's, he's back down into the low twenty nines. Um, I'd say he's had traffic, but that's lap driver traffic. But he's thirty eight second lead. Uh, just going on to his final lap. I would think this is certainly uh, in our time in the commentary booth and in our time running with OFR, probably the most dominant win uh, in any GTS race that, that I've witnessed. I don't think I've seen one this dominant. And a great, uh, a great run from VR as well for Gwen's boys in second, who's yeah. got 21 seconds over Tom. Um, the tag here guys are normally uh, a lot closer at the front, but and I think they've all got caught up in that first lap uh, so it's incident. So Hamilton and Albon that had that move. We eventually have it confirmed it was not Hamilton and Lewis. Yep, it was uh, Albon. Uh, oh, there was going to be a gag there, but I can't think of one. Um, Havoc's in a safe fourth in front of BJ Robber. BJ Robber is second in the championships. So we'll just have a quick look on the Discord and just see if that's going to make uh, anyone in championship move or just some equipment. There's going to be a little bit of movement here between Tom, obviously these are all just pre-penalty. Uh, pre Tom's only two points behind Robbo in the championships. This could Barring any uh, post-race penalties if they're issued, we'll move Tom above above BJ Robbo into second. And here comes AJ over the final corner. Uh, I, I, I I have no words. Um, it's it's uh, do dominance in, in its purest form. It's a fantastic drive from AJ. Great guy as well. Um, very well uh, run team and spin around with that. Um, great drive, great team. Um, and still on his slowing down. Well. Yeah. Debatable. 
Um, let's have a look. We've seen this is how we've had time to watch um, AJ do half a slowing down lap, and VR still only coming round into turn nine. Just about come through turn ten onto the start finish straight. Still a great drive from VR. Great drive, great podium. Tom's just came out of Ford and two on his way down to the last two turns. Another good, good, another good podium for Tom though. Um, he's definitely had some good runs this year. Okay. And very, very, very impressive drive. Yeah, he's just come. This will be his second or third podium. Weave in a little bit there, but he's right to. They've now got Havoc in fourth. Good strong drive from Havoc as well. Uh, and BJ Robbo will come over in fifth. And you've only got your top five finishing on the lead lap. Uh, that is that is that, dominant. That is seriously dominant display. Fantastic Let, drive from uh, from AJ there. Uh, led, led every single lap and fastest lap of the race. It'll be the interesting to see how, how the how the season pans out. There's some lovely battles in that one. Very dominant win by AJ. I do love I do love commentating on D two. It's, it's it's great. There's some great battles all the way through. Um, thanks to everyone for joining. All the comments in the uh, in the uh, stream um, and for uh, Rod and Stato for joining us. We're going to leave you with today's um, gag of the day uh, I've just got diagnosed with an awful disease where I can't stop telling airport jokes my doctor says it's terminal oh man so we'll just leave you with that um, <laughs> thanks for joining us um, great race and if anyone's around later there's um, division 3 of uh, F1 at 7 o'clock from Baku